Hey, I'm RJ here with Living for the Moments, and I am here with Kasiri. How are you doing today? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So, um, go ahead and start off. Just tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and who you cosplay as. Uh, well, I'm here today as my most recent cosplay, Katarina from League of Legends. Um, I'm a cosplayer from Canada, Canada, Ontario, Toronto. Um, I have been cosplaying since 2008, so it's it's been a long time, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really happy to be here today. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, with your cosplay outfits, do you make them? Um, yes, I make. I've made all my cosplay for one, but um, we were to to be sure we were making a video, so I didn't really have time to okay. make that one. But yes, I mostly make all my cosplays. And you attend cons, correct? Pardon? You attend conventions? Yes, I go to conventions. What's, um, the, what's your lineup for the rest of this year? Uh, that, uh, maybe we can see what cons can we see you at. Uh, well, the next convention, well, unfortunately, I don't go to the States much. I've only been to one, which was Anime Expo, the one I just passed. Um, and my next convention is Otakuthan in Quebec, which is also Canada, if you guys don't know. Um, I'm going to be wearing Katarina, uh, and maybe Gwendolyn from Odin Sphere. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't have any place planned for the rest of the year. Oh, I do, but no conventions really planned for them. Um, but I do have quite a few that I want to make. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> it's okay. Um, what's your favorite cosplay to do? Favorite cosplay, as in out of all the ones I've done already? Yes. Hmm, that's hard. Because I tend to cosplay based on how much I like the person or the character design. Um, my favorites have to be Katarina's. I worked really hard on her, and um, a lot of people liked her. <laughs> um, it's going to be either Katarina, my Gundam girl, or Sayaka from Madoka. Okay. Yeah. All right, my next question. Uh, how, did you, how did you discover cosplay and get into cosplay? Um... Well, it's funny. It's a funny story because in high school, uh, people we like to dress up for Halloween. I was very, I was very spirited in high school. So then I remember I used to wake up really early during the summer and watch Car Captors every morning. And um, Sakura always had these crazy outfits. Every episode was a different outfit. And I know I remember I really liked her fairy costume. So then I, I asked my friend. I was like. Do you think it's weird if I dressed up as Sakura in this fairy costume for Halloween? And she's like, yes, that would be very weird. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so then, um, uh, yeah, so I wanted to cosplay her. I didn't know what cosplay was until, like, the year after where I learned of Anime North, which is one of the biggest conventions in Canada. And then I was like, oh, well, it's a thing. <laughs> Cool, let's dress up and go to that. So then I dressed up as Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts 2, and then I went to that convention, and that's how it all started. Okay. What has been the biggest struggle for you in cosplay, and how did you overcome it? Biggest struggle? Huh. Um... Biggest struggle. Well, I tend to pick costumes where there's always a challenge for each one, something different I've never done before. So, for example, Katarina, I've never made, um, I've made swords before, but I've never used insulation foam, so that was a challenge for me. Um, but I guess, hmm, sewing is also a big challenge for me. I can't sew, guys, I can't. Um, I do what I can, but yeah, sewing is something I need to improve on a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's always a struggle, I guess. Every time I get to a costume, I always leave the sewing parts for last because I don't like it. <laughs> here's, a, here's a question for you. Why do you cosplay? Uh, 
Okay, well, besides liking anime and manga and games and all that, um, I've always been a very crafty person since I was I used to draw a lot um, of making things, just random things out of crafts, like arts and crafts and stuff. So I guess the the incorporates everything that I like. I like baking stuff. Um, I love anime and manga, so it gives me an excuse to read more and <laughs> watch more. Um, but also, but also pulls me for pictures. Modeling is kind of fun too, so it kind of it's really a really fun thing overall to do for me. I have a question, and it, one of your fans actually kind of asked the same question, so kind of going to go into the same. What if money was not an object, and <laughs> Time was not an object, and you could make this cosplay. What cosplay would you do? Huh. Well, there's this one cosplay that I'm really dying to make. It's um, the Freedom Gundam, uh, but like a girl version. So, for example, I made another Gundam before, but she, the materials I used was not very durable, so I only can only wear a few times before it will completely break down. But if I had the money and the time, I would definitely make a full-size Gundam girl, Gundam girl, but freedom version. So with like the wings and like, um, I'd be a lot taller. I'd probably wear stilts and such like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's my dream cosplay at the moment. But I, if I do want to make her, I want to make her Durable and pretty awesome mecha style. So yeah, yeah, that's probably my dream cosplay. Are you ready for the fan question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, can you survive without watching anime for one whole week? Unfortunately, I like to say yes because I'm very busy. Um, well, I have a manga app on my phone. It's called Manga Watcher. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything, but that keeps my anime manga um, cravings on. Yeah, it's a pretty cool app because you just download everything and then you can just read it whenever you want to. Um, but yeah, I don't have time to just sit there and watch it all I would want to. But what, and game takes up time too. Your so. anime. I'll say um. Favorite anime? Uh, that's such such a hard question. <laughs> and um. Okay, let me rephrase this. Well, I guess for now it'd have to be see, Attack on Titan SNK. I know that's everyone's answer, but it's really good. <laughs> uh, right now. Do you have it? Uh, do you have any cosplay pet peeves? Pet peeves. Hmm. Um, I guess there's not many pet peeves, but I always like seeing try their best on their cosplays, even if like they they may not be great at sewing, great at making, whatever. It doesn't matter, but I just I like seeing people try their best to make it look accurate. So I guess being accurate is a pet peeve. I, I, I make sure that I'm pretty accurate when I make cosplays, but I know it's not always something that's um, doable, but I like when people try their best, but um, yeah, I guess my pet peeve is when someone doesn't try and just puts on an outfit and is like, oh, I'm cosplaying now, but yeah. I guess it's a pet um, peeve. I'm trying to rework because um, basically what was your first cosplay? Oh, well, as I mentioned before, it was Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, so yeah. I'm just going down. I got the list of questions here. <laughs> just going, uh, and I'm trying. I, I'm trying. I was like, well, she's not answered that one, so I'm trying to. Okay. Um, who? I had. Well, no, no I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't answer that one. What are some of your favorite cosplayers? Whoa, <laughs> my wall just like moved. I don't know what my roommates are doing. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> the wall just shook. Um, sorry, what was that? What? Who are some of your favorite uh, cosplayers? My favorite cosplayers. Um, I'm a huge, huge fangirl of Amy Lynn. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, um, most of my cosplay, my favorite cosplays are girls for some reason. Not maybe because most there's hard to find guy cosplayers. Yeah. But yeah, I really love Amy Lee. She's so pretty, and um, who else? I really admire Vampy. Vampy bit me. Yeah. Um, who Thank else? There's a lot of people. Oh, um, I really, really like. GS props. He's he's more of a prop maker than um, a cosplayer, but he does cosplay sometimes. And extreme costumes, I think his page is called. He makes all the mechas. He makes. Yes, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what is your favorite video game? Favorite video game. Um, does that count PC gaming? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh. Well, I, I, I grew up in an Asian family. They don't let me have game consoles. Um, so I've only been able to play on my laptop. And it would have to be, right now, it would have to be Minecraft. Uh, no, you've been yeah. corrupted by the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> I do like League, too, but I'm League, League would be my favorite before Minecraft. But Minecraft just, there's, like, all this stuff you can do with it and like it brings out the OCD in me to just collect all the things it's just yeah it's kind of addicting okay. if you did not spend your money on cosplay what would you spend your money on <sighs> that's a hard question too I swear all my money goes into cosplay <laughs> um um, I don't know. Because <laughs> um, I always feel like I'm always looking for deals on materials or going to like hardware stores. Uh, I guess I'm a girl too, so I guess makeup, clothes, and pretty things. Alright, and do you have any favorite makeup tricks for cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> I know who this question is from. It's from a very good friend on Instagram. I told you to answer this question. Um, well, um, always wear a primer. So prime, you're probably not interested in this question. <laughs> primer before you put on foundation. Primer on your eyes because in convention it's always hot and you're always sweating and oh you. What's his name? Bot. Bot? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I would think we're animals. Very big thing for animals. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to the question. Um, always use primer. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I do my makeup in any special way, but I always feel like always follow the... When you're doing your eye makeup, Practice takes, practice makes perfect, and always follow the shape of your own eye. That's how I do my own makeup. <laughs> your face is like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> do you have any shows that you would love, that you love, and you just can't find a suitable cosplay to do from it? Mm. Shows that I love but can't cosplay, I guess the question is? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so, because when, I like challenges, so yeah. if I find a show that I like, if I find a person, character design slash character I like, um, I'll try my best to cosplay them, but in terms of being able to cosplay them, I guess Gundam would be a good example, because I don't have money. For the materials yet. Alright, now we've reached the part. Yes, yes, he agrees. <laughs> we have reached yes. the part for the silly questions. From okay. 
<laughs> so are you ready for the silly questions? <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you put your socks on before you put your pants on or after? After. <laughs> it's just so y'all know, this is not my question. This is the <laughs> person's question. So I, are you single? No. Oh, the single guys just went all. <laughs> okay. Um, if you were single, would you put your socks on before your pants or vice versa? I don't see how that would make a difference, but I guess it'll still go on after. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just... It, it, these are kind of hilarious questions. Do you have an arch nemesis? An arch nemesis? No, I don't. I don't really have an arch nemesis. I would no, I wouldn't say I have an arch nemesis. No, no, I don't. I don't. If your arch nemesis cosplayed, what would they wear? And and would it include socks? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> if I had an arch nemesis. Uh, I have no idea how to answer that. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't even know how to, yeah. I hope he wears, or she wears socks, because then her feet would smell. <laughs> hmm. What's your favorite food? Favorite food. I love ice cream. <laughs> but I also love Korean food. Um, oh my god, I can't go. I love chocolate. You can bribe me with anything with chocolate. <laughs> My friends always buy me chocolate. Mm -hmm. and Is that one of the things they bring you chocolate and like, what do you want? <laughs> Sorry, they, they bring you chocolate and you're like, what do you what want? Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I love chocolate, so if you give me, I'm also the kind of person that if you give me a box of something, I'll finish it like right there and then. I can't leave food for later. So, you give me chocolate, don't give me too much, or else I'll eat it all at once. <laughs> all right. Well, final question. Do you have anything that you would like to say to your fans? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm, I'm always surprised at how many people are my fans. Um, <laughs> I know that fan word, like, it's a big <laughs> fan followers. It's, it's very flattering. I, I love getting comments and compliments on whatever they do. It's really, it's encouraging and like inspiring because um, from, well, I guess not really from where I grew up, but as I was growing up, I've always been like the only one who did this by myself. And just recently I met my friends who also cosplay, but it's always like very encouraging for them to compliment me and um, support me all the time so I like to thank you guys <laughs> very so cute yeah. alright so um do you have any shout outs and our thank yous you would like to give oh, oh okay, wait I'd have to open up my page oh my god I was I guess I'd like to thank everyone who commented and left me questions because um yeah, it feels like you guys like to actually interact with me, hey, which is cool. You you are one of the first like you're about one of two cosplayers who would every interview I I'm like hey, because my thing is I I, I want to break that fourth wall of people just, they see they see y'all at the conventions and they see you dressed up they don't see the person behind the cosplay and uh -huh. that that's the kind of I want to connect them with the. Mm. Show them who y'all are. So I mean, but oh, wait. Um, okay, so I guess wait. Let me name a few names because, well, from Instagram, I'd like to thank Nikara P. She's she always comments and she always says really sweet things. So thank you. Um, I like to thank oh god, so many people on my wall. Everything on my wall. Everybody on my wall who asked me questions. I like to thank them. And Phil is the one, you're the one who asked me all the sock questions. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to ask you a little more about your sock fetish. <laughs> 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 yeah, I question your sock fetish. Um, but thank you for asking questions. 
Yeah, I hope I got to answer everybody's questions. I, I, I believe I got everybody. I mean, I, there were some questions that I, I asked personally that were already part of my interview. So um, thank you so much for taking the time to interview today. And uh, I love your cosplay work. I mean, I, I, were, weren't you in the AX video? The anime expo video? Uh, one of them, yeah. Yeah. I just did the interview with Mizuru too the other day. So Yeah, oh my god, everybody cosplay. <laughs> Same way. <laughs> Our fangirls move in the dials. Okay, yeah. yeah. Fangirling over lead cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm RJ Bloom for the moment. Signing off till next time. Bye. Bye.